So, so I guess to finish off this segment on, on the kind of user experience of Lightning on Cash App, um, how, how do you rate the reliability today of making a Lightning payment on Cash App? And I guess because you're a consumer-facing app and because you have tens of millions of users, the, the standard of excellence, it has to be pretty high, right? Like people, people come to Cash App expecting like a pretty seamless experience. Um, what's your sentiment on on how that lightning experience has evolved, and how how far away are you from from getting to the point where, with certainty, a user can basically say, "Hey, if I'm going to send this payment, uh, it's going to go through, and I know it." Right. Yeah, I think we we still have work to do. Um, even just in the last, we we go through cycles where you know we're gonna we have super high success rate for two weeks, and then kind of something happens. Sometimes we saw, actually, it was pretty interesting. We saw at one point the the uh, the guy zero fee routing when his node <laughs> went offline. So he had a, a LND node and he was a huge hub. And then at one point he switched to Sea Lightning, Core Lightning, took down his entire node, built it back up. When he went offline, there was like a couple of days where payment success rate definitely dropped as the algorithm had to like adjust. Um, but and I don't know how much of that was actually him, but also with us, sorry, we're, we have a little more, um, like if you use, you know, the LND uh, pathfinding or the core lightning pathfinding, they're pretty good. They work pretty well. Um, we're working with um, uh, LDK, which is another thing we can get into, but we have a bit, we have more kind of finer grained controls over how LDK works and they've implemented a fantastic algorithm that is like the probabilistic score, which is kind of a state of the art thing. And we, as a, as the cash app team, we're just still learning like how to tinker with this algorithm correctly. And so that's one of the things I've really been focused on is how do we, what do we wait into? Like we're willing probably to pay overpay a bit to have higher success rate. How do we balance that? Um, and then what parameters can we set in this pathfinding algorithm to optimize whatever we're optimizing for? So, so right now it's like, we're going to pay a little extra to take fewer hops, um, to make sure we can get a higher reliability. Um, but it, yeah, it's super interesting to work with, uh, LDK and the flexibility there of how, how we can customize the, the pathfinding algorithm. Yeah, that's very cool. I want to get into LDK in a second, but maybe... Um, just to give people a perspective, because I think you have a very interesting one, uh, working at Cash App and running one of the largest nodes on the Lightning Network, um, what, what's your sentiment for, for what percentage of payments happening on Lightning go through successfully today? Like if, if you had to put that to a number, um, you know, are we talking like above 50%? Are we talking about 70%? What, what's your sentiment? So I, th I think it, it really depends because I would say from like sending from an, I would guess like if you're on, you know, if you're on cash, I, like, I don't, I don't think we, we at cash App have been as good as like river or a Kraken or, um, you know, wallet of Satoshi, some of these other big, I don't think we've been as good. We're trying, I think eventually we're going to, we're closer to getting there. But I think sending from like some of these bigger, well-connected nodes that have been doing it for a while, I think we're in the, the high 90% um, nice. when you're going to another normal destination. But now the question is like, are you sending it to your node that has no liquidity? That's going to be 0%. So um, I, I think for normal users, it's high 90s, like 90, 98%, 99%. But then the question is, okay, for if you're doing other types of things like for example, in my node, when I'm doing certain rebalancing, I mean, I might have a a 10% success rate, but that's okay because I'm just like aggressively looking for these obscure paths to rebalance my liquidity um, in like super illiquid paths. And so in that case, you're just, it's, you're expecting a low success rate, but it's also not the, the user, the, you don't care about a high success rate. You want like the cheapest path, for example. Um, so right. I think, like, yeah, but from a broader user perspective, it seems pretty good to me. Um, high, high 90%, like 
96%, 98% for normal, normal payments.